Hello friends, welcome to my exam coaching classes once again. First of all, thank you so much for watching my videos and thank you so much for your support. Without your support, it is not possible for me to upload more and more videos and your comments, your feedback, it is very, very important for me. Okay, so again, we are continuing with our classes, previous year question paper solution because IBPS exams are coming in the month of April and May. So before that, we have to complete the comp whole syllabus. So we are continuing with the paper solutions. So let us go to the questions as usual before going to the class. Let me remind you about the course which we are going to start from 1st of February. 1st February to 5 February, we are going to conduct a mini course on quantitative aptitude, reasoning and English. And this course is absolutely free for you and you can register for this course. A link is given in the description. Kindly click on the link and register today and it is absolutely free and the timing will be from evening 8 to 9. So you can easily attend. Okay, I will not be disturbing you in the daytime. Classes timing is in the evening 8 to 9 p.m. every day. And in this course, I will be telling you the complete shortcut methods used in quantitative the techniques of scoring in reasoning and some of the English languages because it is a five day course, it's a mini course. We will not be able to cover the complete syllabus, but the complete shortcut methods in quantitative aptitude and important shortcut methods for reasoning, techniques, time saving methods, everything will be cleared in this five day classes. It is absolutely free. So click on the link. The link is given in the description and register today itself okay and share it with your friends so that more and more students will get the benefit of this course okay second if you are new to this channel i request you kindly subscribe and if you have any doubt for clearance or if you want to ask any particular topic you can whatsapp in this number or you can call me in this number or you can put it in the comment box given below so that i can make new videos on the topic which you are giving to me okay so let us go to the class and here is your first question today a pole 12 meter tall cost cast a 8 meter long shadow at the same time pole b cast a 100 meter long shadow how tall is the pole b so now let us understand this concept very clearly this is actually we can continue this question with two different ways you can do it with a ratio. You can do it with a trigonometry. So let me, since any angle is not given here, let me do it with a ratio. What is given? There is a pole A and there is another pole B. So now the pole A is 12 meter and pole B is equal to what? That is what we need to find out. For that a condition is given, pole A is 12 meter long and it, its shadow is 8 meter. So whenever there is, suppose there is sun here and this is the sunlight coming from here and when the sunlight coming from here, the shadow will be like this. So this is 8 meter shadow and this is 100 meter shadow. So this is given here. We want to find out what will be the length of this pole B. Now we know we can see this is the ratio here this ratio is what 12 meter pole casting 8 meter shadow similarly b cast 100 meter shadow using this ratio we have to find out what is b now you can cross multiply here just cross multiply so we will get 12 into 100 1200 is equal to 8 into b 8b so from here you can find out b b is equal to what 1200 divided by 8. So 1200 divided by 8, you can simplify it here 12, 1 time 40, 5 times and 0, 150. So accordingly, you can mark the correct option as option D, 150. Understand this concept very clearly. What we have given, what we are given with the 12 meter pole makes 8 meter shadow. So for a 100 meter shadow, what will be the length of the pole? 
this is what we need to find out so we have taken 12 meter pole make 8 meter shadow so for a 100 meter shadow what will be the length of the pole so accordingly we have calculated using cross multiplication so we got 1200 is equal to 8 into that question mark so question mark will be equal to what 1200 divided by 8 when you solve it we get 150 is the answer accordingly we can mark 150 as the correct option i hope it is clear to you so kindly note it and then let us go to the next question so let me go to the next question the next question is here 10 years ago rakesh was one third of arun's age that is 10 years ago the salpile if the ratio of their ages are 3 is to 5 find the total of their present age so present age ka ratio diya hai so understand this type of questions are very very important present age ka ratio diya hai we want total of their present age sum find out karna hai present age ka ratio kya diya hai what is the present age ratio that is 3 is to 5 so let us take it as what let us take it as 3x and 5x this is the present age so total kya hoga what is the total present age total present age will be equal to 8x so we will find out 8x kya hai find out karenge isliye kya diya hai 10 years ago 10 saal pehle rakesh was one third of arun age ye rakesh ka age hai ye arun ka age hai so 10 saal pehle rakesh kya hoga 10 years ago means 10 saal pehle 10 saal pehle kisi ka bhi age agar aapko find out karna hai so 10 number ko minus karna hai so 3x minus 10 ye hoga rakesh ka age और 5x minus 10 ये होगा अरुण का एज तो व्हाट इज द कंडीशन गिवन 10 इयर्स अगो रागेश वाज 1/3 ऑफ अरुण एज 1/3 ऑफ अरुण एज रागेश का जो एज है दिस इज इक्वल टू 1/3 1 3 ऑफ अरुण्स एज दिस फार्मूला यू हैव टू मेक देन इट इज वेरी इजी नाउ यू कैन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई 3 विल मल्टीप्लाई हियर so 3 into 3x 9x 3 into 10 30 equal to 1 into 5x 5x minus 10 so now kya kar raho mein ye 5x ko left mein le raho i am taking this 5x towards left so ye ho jayega 9x minus 5x 4x aur ye 30 minus 30 ko idhar leke ja raho so minus 30 is side mein jayega to it will become plus 30 so minus 10 plus 30 plus 20 ho jayega so x equal to what 4x equal to 20 so x is equal to 5 agar x ka value 5 mil gaya then total find out karna easy ho gaya now 8x is equal to 8 into 5 8 into 5 is equal to 40 so accordingly we can mark the correct option as what correct option is equal to 40 option a so ye sara shortcut method mein karna hai kaise shortcut method mein karenge 10 years ago, pahle diya hai, present age 3 is to 5. So, directly lik do 3 is to 5, madalab, 8x is the total. Now, Ragesh age is one third of Arun age 10 years pahle. So, directly you can write this formula. 3x minus 10 is equal to one third of 5x minus 10. So now you can cross multiply and we will find out x is equal to 5. So put the value of x here and then you can find out the total is equal to 40. Very easy question and understand the concept and then clear it. Okay, now the next question is what would be the measure of the diagonal of a, of a square whose area is equal to 882 square centimeter? So now these type of questions are very very important. Aapko ek square diya hai. So area of the square we all know area of the square is equal to a square where a is the side of the square. So now what would be the measure of the diagonal of a square whose area is equal to 882. So a square diya hai hame. A square is equal to 882. We want to find out what? We want to find out the diagonal of this. This line we want to find out. This line is called diagonal. 
सो डायगोनल फाइंड आउट करने का फॉर्मूला ये है डायगोनल इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर पैथागोरस थ्योरम यूज करते हैं सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर सो डी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट 2a स्क्वायर डायगोनल फाइंड आउट करने का फॉर्मूला रिमेंबर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ए स्क्वायर डायगोनल इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट 2a स्क्वायर सो नाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट द डायगोनल d इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट 2 इनटू a स्क्वायर a स्क्वायर तो क्वेश्चन में दिया है हाउ मच 882 सो so, मल्टीपल करने से क्या मिलेगा फोर सिक्स सिक्सटीन प्लस वन सेवनटीन सो डी इज इक्वल टू रूट वन सेवन सिक्स फोर सो वन सेवन सिक्स फोर वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर का रूट क्या होगा फोर्टी टू सो डी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू सो अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन मार्क द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एस ऑप्शन ई डी इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू सो आई टोल्ड यू वेरी क्लियरली इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट्स आपको एग्जाम में जाने से पहले नंबर वन से लेकर तीस तक सारा नंबर का स्क्वायर फाइंड आउट करना है ये स्क्वायर स्क्वायर ऑफ नंबर आपको फाइंड आउट करना है वन स्क्वायर वन टू स्क्वायर फोर थ्री स्क्वायर नाइन फोर स्क्वायर सिक्सटीन फाइव स्क्वायर ट्वेंटी फाइव ऐसे करके अप टू थर्टी ऑल नंबर्स का स्क्वायर आपको याद करके जाना है देन इट विल बी वेरी वेरी इजी यू कैन सेव ए लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो नहीं तो क्या होगा वन का रूट फाइंड आउट करने के लिए आपको बहुत टाइम वेस्ट हो जाएगा so you have to remember this ye to yaad karna padega and remember the root of numbers up to 30 then it becomes very very easy now we understood 1764 ka root 42 so directly we can write the answer 42 is the correct answer so d diagonal is equal to 42 so under, understand this formula this is very very important और वन सेकेंड आई रिमाइंड यू हमारा जो पांच दिन का कोर्स होने वाला है अभी फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी से फाइव फेब्रुवरी तक उसमें वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अ लॉट ऑफ फॉर्मूला लाइक दिस इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला रिगार्डिंग जोमेट्री ट्रिगोनोमेट्री देन शॉर्टकट मेथड्स एवरीथिंग विल बी एक्सप्लेन इन दैट क्लास सो काइंडली ज्वाइन द लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू कैन ज्वाइन नाउ ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन How many lead balls, each of radius one centimeter, can be made from a sphere whose radius is eight centimeter? आपको एक बड़ा sphere दिया है, उसका radius is eight centimeter, और उसमें से छोटा-छोटा spheres बनाना है, जिसका radius है one centimeter. So how many radius, how many sphere you can make? So whenever you have question like this, how many? नंबर्स फाइंड आउट करना है हाउ मेनी सो नंबर विल बी इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ बिग स्फीयर डिवाइडेड बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्मॉल स्फीयर ये फॉर्मूला यूज करेंगे सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ बिग स्फीयर क्या है फोर बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब दर इज बिग वन एंड स्मॉल वन फोर बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब सो वी कैन डू वॉट फोर बाई थ्री फोर बाई थ्री कैंसिल हो गया पाई पाई कैंसिल हो गया सो वी गॉट आर क्यूब माइनस आर क्यूब ओके सो आर क्यूब माइनस आर क्यूब वॉट इज द रेडियस ऑफ द बिगर वन एट क्यूब वॉट इज द रेडियस ऑफ द स्मॉलर वन वन क्यूब सो एट क्यूब इज इक्वल टू वॉट फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व वन एट वन क्यूब इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन सो so आंसर क्या मिला 512 हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व रेड लेट द बॉल्स यू कैन मेक सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टेल यू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी क्लियरली नंबर फाइंड आउट करना है ऐसे क्वेश्चन में देन रेडियस क्यूब ऑफ द बिगर डिवाइडेड बाई रेडियस क्यूब ऑफ द स्मॉलर दिस फॉर्मूला यूज करना है सो फाइव वन टू आंसर मिला हमें सो अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन मार्क ऑप्शन ए एस द करेक्ट आंसर is it clear if you have any doubt in such questions please write in the comment box agar aapko samajh mein nahi aaya ya koi doubt hai doubt puchna hai to you can put it in the comment box i will be happy to clear your doubts okay aur aapko is particular topic mein ya koi bhi topic mein agar zyada videos chahiye then you can put it in the comment box i will definitely make more videos on that topic and i will upload okay yeah next question 
the ratio of the ages of father to son is 7 is to 3 father to son ratio is 7 is to 3 ye diya hai question mein so what we will take father ka age hum lenge 7x aur son ka age hum lenge 3x sum of their ages is 60 sum kitna hoga 7x aur 3x ka sum kitna hoga 10x 10x is 60 hai so x kya hoga 10 aur 60 cut karo 6 so x is equal to 6 अगर x 6 है, then 7x कितना होगा? 42. और 3x कितना होगा? 18. समय मिला, father और son का age मिला. Find out क्या करना है? Find the difference of their age. Difference means ये दोनों का difference कितना है? So 42 minus 18 कितना मिलेगा? 24. So 24 is the correct answer. Simple question. So from the given option, you can mark A is the correct answer. 24. ये सारा क्वेश्चन में ज्यादा टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना वी कैन डू इट वेरी फास्ट रेशियो ऑफ द एजेस इज 7 इज टू 3 सो इधर से ही फाइंड आउट करना डिफरेंस फाइंड आउट करना है सो so, 7 इज टू 3 का डिफरेंस क्या होगा 7 minus 3 4x हो गया शॉर्टकट मेथड बता बता रहा हूं 7 इज टू 3 7 इज टू 3 में हमें फाइंड आउट करना है डिफरेंस ऑफ देयर एज सो एक फादर का एज हो गया 7x सन का एज हो गया 3x दोनों का डिफरेंस क्या होगा 4x. Sum kitna diya hai? 60 diya hai. Sum means 7 plus 3, 10. 10x ka 60 hai to x kitna ho gaya? 6 ho gaya. So 4x kitna ho gaya? 4 into 6 which is equal to 24. So directly within one line you can find out the answer and mark it. I am writing all these things to explain. Lekin exam mein aapko shortcut method use karna hai. So shortcut method tabhi aayega when you practice with the more and more question. And you can download my exam coaching app. Usme mock test series, sample papers, or both are questions upload kiya hai, which is free, free of cost. You can download all the question and prepare well. Okay, increase your speed. Next question: Two third of ten percentage of sixty percentage of a number P is thirty two. Find the value of P. Now, this is also very easy question. 2 third means 2 by 3. Off means multiplication. 10 percentage means 10 by 100. Again, off means multiplication. 60 percentage means 60 by 100. Off means again multiplication. P is a number which is equal to 32. Is may say P find out karna hai. So now you can cut it. 10 or 100 may 10 times 10 60 may 6 times 10 che may 2 bar so 2 into 2 4 4 into p 4 p divided by 100 equal to 32 cross multiple karega to kya milega 40 4 p is equal to 3200 4 cut karo 32 ke saath 800 mil gaya. So, P is equal to 800. So, option may P is option D 800. So, this all are the very important question and easy question. Either say you have shortcut method mein kar sakta hai. 2 third of 6, 10 percentage into 60 percentage. 10 by 100 into 60 by 100 into P equal to 32. So, now what you can do is 0, 0 cut ho gaya, 10, 10 cut ho gaya. Then 3 or either cut ho gaya, 2, 2 into 4, 4 either cut ho gaya, 8. Cross multiple karo, 100 into 8, P equal to 800 either mil jayega. So, ye shortcut method use karke, easily find out karna hai. So, then it becomes very easy for you and you can save a lot of time. Okay. So, this type of questions, both are questions, hum log 5 days ka mini question mein practice karenge. And if you are new to this channel, I, sub I request you kindly subscribe and please don't forget to press the bell button so that notifications will come to you. Okay. And every day we are uploading new videos on sample paper solution. Write in the comment box your problems, your doubts or the topics on which you want videos. And thank you very much for watching my videos once again. We will meet with the new topics in the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.